Hello, uh, this is a demo of the Blender game engine uh, running in a browser. Here you can see it in Chrome. Uh, some uh, really great people have just developed a, uh, um, a plugin for, uh, for for web browsers to play uh, Blender game engine games. Uh, so this is the game demo that I've uh, made in the Blender game engine and here it is playing in, in Chrome, in, in the Chrome browser. This is obviously an incredibly powerful piece of technology that's just become available to web, to, to the web in general. Um, obviously uh, Blender is open source and free, uh, which is a nice contrast to the £800 that you have to pay just to get the editor for, uh, uh, for Flash, last time I checked anyway. Um, I'd also say that, that the game engine is uh, much more powerful than Flash, in my opinion, anyway. Um, uh, I think uh, you'd have a hard time achieving this kind of thing in Flash. Um, I, I really can't imagine it happening, to be honest. Uh, uh, Blender game engine uh, and, and Blender itself use the bullet physics engine uh, for their physics. Uh, so it's all very fast and, uh, and nice. Um, uh, you program your uh, game in uh, Python, and uh, uh, yeah, obviously the game engine itself is written in um, in C plus uh, plus. So yeah, uh, you, you you're you, you're free from uh, any license restrictions, uh, despite the fact that Blender and the um, Blender game engine are open source GPL. Uh, because the game content that you create uh, in a blend file are kept separately from the Blender game engine executable uh, in the same way that, that flash files are stored on your server uh, and embedded in web pages uh, you uh, will do the same thing with your Blender game engine file um, and that keeps it separate from the Blender executable and therefore not encumbered by, the, by any GPL uh, restrictions so that's great uh, there's also um, uh, an encryption tool which is available from the same people that make the uh, plugin, the browser plugin, uh, which allows you to keep, you know, to ensure that your uh, game, Blender game files uh, remain um, hidden from the uh, web viewing public. Uh, that's not necessary uh, really, uh, for the vast majority of cases. You can make a commercial game um, without that. Um, I'll certainly be uh, releasing these um, uh, demos um, uh, with all the source code. So I mean, you'll be able to just open the blend file and see all the Python and, and everything like that, all the resources in there. Uh, so yeah, but it's a it's a, a useful tool if, if you're interested in keeping your uh, keeping your game code secret. Okay, so. Um, yeah, this is it running in the browser. Um, I'll just resize it so you can actually see uh, see how it all works um, in the web page. There it is loading, and uh, I'll take a little minute. And there it is loaded. Uh, you can see uh, the rest of the web page there. If I obviously it's static at the moment because I'm not interacting with it, but as soon as I click on it, yeah, it all comes alive. And uh, and set physics going. There it is, and then if I free the mouse and then scroll down, you can see the physics carries on while I'm browsing the rest of the page. I can play with a flash in in the page. So a video of me uh, demoing the game again. <laughs> okay, so um, the first time you load the page, uh, what should happen is you'll get uh, uh, an empty section here with a link to the uh, to the browser plugin. Uh, the browser plugin is called Burster. And uh, this is the page that you should come to um, on the uh, uh, on the Burster uh, website, and you can just choose your operating system. Uh, I downloaded the, or well, I clicked on the Chrome symbol there, and it, it seemed to make it work for for all the browsers on Windows. So, so that was nice. Um, yep, it, uh, it uses the Blender 2.49b version, uh, which is a really very powerful, uh, fun environment to develop your games in. Um, Python is obviously a great language to develop in. It's really fun, again, and uh, uh, I think that this could be a fantastic piece of technology. I think that it could, you know, it, it could, it could, eat, it, it could be as big as Flash. This is a really fantastic piece of software. 
Um, so I hope you all get behind it and uh, um, have fun uh, developing games for it because it, it's going to be, uh, you know, really a lot of fun. It's a it's a great piece of software and very powerful. You can really do absolutely anything in it. Um, uh, yeah. So uh, download the plugin. Um, uh, share the news with other people, uh, get them to play this demo, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have an open source rival to Flash. Fantastic. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, happy blending. See you later.